Hello, welcome to the channel. In uh, some of my previous videos, I was working on projects, something made out of scratch, perhaps assembled. In today's video, I would like to work on this. This is a mitutoil height gauge, and what the issue is here, this item that holds the scriber is broken off. I guess it must have tilted forward or something got hit and uh, due to being brittle it's just broken. So what I will try to do take it apart and reproduce this item and hopefully in that case it will be back to life again because otherwise the the uh, digital display and the measuring function is all working well. Other than this there's nothing wrong with it so it would be a base to just, you know, retire it. Okay, so let's see. Let's get the uh, take apart and see how it's, how it's going to be. So it comes apart like this, up until now. This assembly was fairly straightforward up until this point. And uh, when I was looking f uh, on YouTube for specific disassembly, I couldn't find anything. Perhaps it's just only being done by service centers when they do repair or calibration to these items. So from this point on, to take this plate off in order to get to, get to this broken item, there are these, there are these, um, oops, these screws. I marked it with a green paint marker and there are a couple of more here deep inside, hardly visible. So upon extracting these four screws, this element should come off. And here we go. So now it comes all these components uh, removal. So this item being retained to this body for the, aside the, the bolts with these uh, two sets of uh, spring pins. So after removal of those, this, uh, this piece should come apart. Here it is. Uh, in the meantime, I went ahead and uh, milled out a piece the replacement one and that would that was the part that is broken from here so um, I'm just going to 
rid of the holes. These ones, I mapped it out, made the made my sketch. So on the milling machine, I go back. I'm going to finish these, drilling the holes and threading them, whatever is needed to be. After that comes heat treatment and um, sort of everywhere around I left material on for grinding to bring it to size what this was and it's going to be reassembly after that. So let's go to the mill. Here what I would like to put the highlight on is uh, the parallels. It's kind of like uh, always an issue to keep them in place, whether it's being wiped with a rag or blown by air gun. Some guys, they use a piece of metal strap that's being used, strapping down material on pallets, and then just bending them to fill out the space and kind of like acting like a leaf spring. My preferred method is using a coil spring. I always keep a cluster around so various length diameters. So I just put it in between and then tightly keeps it in place, actually keeps it tighter than the that uh, bent metal strapping material. So it's just just a suggestion if uh, somebody some people have springs available, it's probably one of the best method to hold them in place, various height. Therefore, different di diameter of spring can be used. Okay, so the piece had been uh, heat treated, uh, quenched in oil, and then I annealed it. What I'm going to do right now, just do a rough assemble, just to a dry test, how pole positions and everything fits for the assembly, try it on, and then I can start the grinding process on it. So it's all going to be okay. Everything is fitting. After grinding, I'm just going to need to make these uh, slider brass pads to fill out the, the space here. And should be ready for installation then.
Okay, so these brass pads are installed. So back onto the milling machine and then just mill them parallel. Okay, so it looks like the part is ready. What was the case on the original piece, these brass pads were glued on, looks like an epoxy. And instead, on this one, what I did, and I made it removable, so I, I drilled it, counter, counter bore it with a quarter inch and just machined on the brass, back of the brass pad. Uh, a boss just fitting it in and I drilled it bigger so it can be also removed in case if it is necessary next time around and so ready for the assembly now So I'm in the process of assembling it here and it, it took a fair bit of tweaking for a fine adjustment. I had to put here a spacer so to align that this gear is running on the rack properly. Had to replace a couple of uh, adjustable brass wear pads. So it is looking like this right now. I would like to point out there is this some sort of a thread locking compound, which is seems to me it's not Loctite brand, but some something else. And for the purpose of adjustment, it, I had to break these four and these two at the back. And uh, what I have been using in the past as well to seal set screws like this is actually I use nail polish it's actually works quite well I also use it like older verniers for example when I had to do adjustment um, it's actually this one works really well locking the, this, the set screws in so they just under movement, pressure, shaking, it just wouldn't start wiggling back out. So that's what I'm going to do. Just uh, on each of the set screws, apply a drop of you nail know, polish and as it dries, it, it will hold it tight. And in case down in the road, if it has to be adjusted, it only takes acetone to dilute it, wash it, and then and, and can be adjusted and, and uh, locked back again. Okay, so let's proceed.
That's it. Almost as good as new. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and do check in for other interesting projects in the, projects in the future. Thanks again.